Hello, welcome everyone. Today's session is about hips, so I will show you really great stretches to release tension and to bring flexibility into our hips and lower back. Let's get started in a tabletop position. So finding neutral spine and we will begin with five rounds of cat and cow to warm up our spine. Inhaling cow, lift your sit bones, release your belly and open up through the chest, shoulders down from the ears, stretch your throat as you look up. Exhale round through the spine, stretch the back body cat. And again inhaling, opening the chest, exhaling, stretching the back body. Inhaling for your cow, exhaling cat. One more time, nice big breath in to open up through your heart. Exhale, stretch the space between the shoulder blades as you push the mat away. Nice, coming back to your neutral spine and start shifting your hips right and left a couple times just to warm up our hips. Choosing your pace, shifting right and left. And we will start drawing circles once you are ready. So first one direction, you can choose smaller circles or bigger circles, whatever feels better for your hips. You can even circle through your rib cage if you'd like to add on. Going opposite way once you are ready, so circling opposite direction. Moving those hips side forward to the other side and back. Let's take one more big circle. And coming back into tabletop position. And we will shift hips forward and back a couple of times. So as you inhale, shift your hips forward. Exhale, press your hips back. And again, repeat a few more times your pace. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, lengthening the spine. Inhale, drop your hips forward. Exhale, push back. One more time, inhaling, shifting your hips forward, exhaling back. And finding child's pose for a moment so you can relax your hips towards your heels. Feel free to wiggle your fingers here. You can make a fist a couple times. Nice. And just finding stillness for a couple breaths. So you can soften, relax through the abdominal muscles. You're really allowing your hips to sink back and down towards the heels. And once you're ready, lift your hips back up and go ahead and sit on your heels. Roll your hips onto one side and extend your legs out in front of you. Now let's open your legs wider than your hips and we will start moving your knees side to side a couple times. You're supporting your body with your hands as you drop your knees left and right. Making sure you're dropping your knees all the way down towards the floor. If you'd like to try moving your legs without support of your hands, so come off your hands and just keep dropping your knees right and left. And once your knees are on the right side, you can pause here and we will hold the stretch for a couple breaths with your hands behind your body. Keep your feet flexed and your legs in 90 degree angle. You can start coming off the hands, turning your torso, your hips towards your left thigh. Stand your arms out in front of you, take an inhale, exhale, lean your torso forward. And again, let's repeat four more times. So, so pulsing as you release your torso towards your thigh getting nice and deep stretch into our hips. Now holding the stretch, feel free to stay on your fingertips or on your hands so you can lower on your elbows. Mm -hmm. 
let's take one more breath here and if you like to go in a deeper stretch walk your hands further away from your body over to the left to add on side body stretch so notice the stretch happening through the side body down into your right hip glute you can release your head down towards the floor relax your shoulders your neck Coming out of the pose slowly once you are ready. And go ahead and we will start lifting your right foot off the floor a couple of times. Let's lift it up and lower down. And again, up and down. Up and down. Now two more times. Up and down. One more. Lift your foot up and release down. Now lifting your knee five times for one two, three, four, and one last one, five, beautiful, return back to center, butterfly legs position, bring the soles of your feet together, holding your feet, and take a second to really lengthen your spine as you lift up from the pelvis, and you can wiggle your knees as a butterfly wings. Let's lean your torso forward if you'd like to get a deeper stretch and release and repeat four more times leaning your chest forward and down release coming up two more times as you lean your torso forward and up one more time extend your legs out in front of you go ahead shake your legs out if you'd like and just release your knees to the right this time you're bringing your legs in 90 degree angle starting with your hands behind your body try to relax your hips your glutes your feet and your toes just notice how this stretch feels on this side Coming off your hands once you are ready, turning your torso, your hips towards your right thigh, your right knee. So you want to square your hips. And again, extending your arms out in front of you, come out to your fingertips and five little tiny pulses to get a deeper stretch. So leaning your torso forward and down, inhaling to lift up, exhale, release into the stretch, forward fold. You can repeat your pace. One more time. And let's hold the stretch as you release either on your elbows or you can stay on your hands. And again, feel free to add on as you walk your hands further away from the body over to the right, opening through the left side of the body down into your left hip and glute. So take a second here to relax your chest, the shoulders towards the floor, releasing any tension from the hips. Allow your legs to feel heavy, slowly breathing into your body. Beautiful. Coming out of the pose slowly, back onto your fingertips, lift your torso and start five times lifting your left foot up and down. So really engage your glute to lift your foot up. Doesn't matter how high, just maybe hovering above the floor. And now we will start lifting your knee and your thigh of the floor five times. 
Just keep it going. Lift your knee up and lower down. One more time. Beautiful. Come back to center and you can extend your legs. Shake your legs out. Returning into your tabletop position, hands and knees. Slightly pull your lower belly in and up towards the spine and lift your right leg up, bring your right leg in 90 degree angle, keep your right foot flexed and we will start drawing circles with your right knee, five big circles. So here we go. You can choose your pace. Last one and last one, cross your legs, bringing your right leg in front of your left, stacking your knees, shifting your hips forward and back a couple times. So you can rock this pose forward and back. And finding the good stretch again here, so you can just slightly shift forward and back and you can go a little bit deeper into the stretch as you shift, as you push your hips a little bit more towards the heels. And go ahead and have a seat, still with your legs crossed, ground through your sit bones and really lengthen through the spine. Reach up through the crown of the head. You can stay sitting upright or you can extend your arms out in front of you as you lean your torso forward and down towards your thigh and your knee to get a deeper stretch for our hips. Feel free to relax your head down. If your neck is okay, you can release your head, chin to chest. It's coming off the pose, roll your spine back up. Lift your hips back up and you can uncross your legs, coming back into tabletop position. Feel free to shake out your right leg. And start shifting your hips right and left, just to relax our hips. And now let's switch legs. Lift your left leg up, 90 degree angle, and you can start drawing circles with your left leg. And we will do about five circles. With your fifth one, you can cross your legs, left leg over your right. Try to stack your knees and then start rocking your hips forward and back. Inhaling, shifting your hips forward. Exhale, pushing your hips back. And again, repeat. Let's focus on a nice slow breath so you can synchronize movement with your breath. And once you're ready, go ahead, come off your hands and have a seat. Bringing your heels closer towards the outer hips, sitting nice and tall. Drop your shoulder blades down and together your back. And again, option to stay here, sitting upright if this feels enough for your hips. Or getting deeper stretch as you walk your fingertips out in front of you and releasing your torso towards your legs. So again, find what feels good for your body. Let's take one more nice and big inhale here and a slow and full exhale out. And you can release, come up, lift your hips, uncross your legs back to tabletop position, shaking your left leg out. You can sit back on your heels and just notice how you feel after these deep stretches for our hips.
and let's enter practice in a child's pose. So go ahead and open your knees wide apart, big toes to touch. Sitting on the heels, first lengthen the spine and then slowly start crawling your fingertips out in front of you, finding that nice extension through the spine and gently releasing the forehead on the mat. And about five slow and deep breaths here, so you can relax and soften your body into the pose. Once you are ready, go ahead, release, coming out of your child's pose, cross your legs, and we will enter our session with cleansing breaths. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead, reach up high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Two more, just like that. Inhale to reach up. Big sigh, exhale. One more, nice big cleansing breath in. Exhale. Thank you so much everyone for sharing your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this session and I will see you next time. Namaste.